Good morning, everybody. Happy, I guess it's not morning anymore. It's the afternoon. Happy Team Tuesday at All Points North Lodge. So excited that you're here. Today we have an awesome guest. It is Jeremy Zacharias, and I'm pretty pumped about it. So I hope you are too. He's going to join us here in just a second and talk to us a little bit about his background, um, what he does, and what's happening at the lodge right now. So let's see if I can get him in here. Jeremy, waiting for you. Hey, hey. what's happening? Not much. This is my like fifth time, fourth time doing a live. Wow. I still get immensely nervous every time. Um, my normal day to day, I'm on Zoom calls and leading meetings yeah. all day. It's something about the live really gets me, but. Are you, just worried about, uh, are you just worried about, like, all the people who are, No, because, like, like, I've spoken in front of, I don't know, let's, 100 people before, right? Not phased. It's something about the live. I don't know. Wow. Okay. I'm also not, like, a social media guy. Sure. I, I've posted an, an entirety of three times, I think. So maybe that's it. I don't know. You just feel you know, ill-equipped for social media, but you're doing great. And I, I mean, I heard that your lives tend to do the best. People like to watch your face, so. Right, maybe so they're like, like tuning in to see my demise, but yeah. hopefully <laughs> we keep it going. It should, I think it's a boost of confidence for you. I would like to pass on that boost of confidence, but um, it looks like you're in the office right now. I am in the office, which is nice because I think my other lives, I did one from my parents' house in Chicago. I think I did two from my 300 square foot Santa Monica apartment. And so it's nice to be back in the office in Malibu, mm -hmm. even though I'm the only one in today. It's a, a little bit sad because as you know, right, there's normally a dozen people here and we're right. all having fun, doing work, getting things done. And it's, it's not the same when I'm the only one here. Right. So you miss us is what you're saying. I do miss you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. I do. Because yeah. even though I still talk to everybody on the phone just about every day, let's say, but it, it's not, you know, it's not the same. It's not the same. No. Yeah. Um, okay. It looks like you've been taking vigorous notes behind you there. So that's, that's great. Yeah. You know, we don't stop. <laughs> Okay, so um, all that aside, oops, sorry, I just like moved the camera. Off. All that aside, tell us a little bit about you, where you're from, how the heck you got to California, sure. what, what you did in school, etc. Sure. So I'm from Chicago or the suburbs of Chicago. Um, I went to Indiana University. I was in the Kelly School of Business studying finance, mm -hmm. and I was sort of I was getting towards graduation. And it was looking like I was on a path to go into corporate finance or banking, something along those lines. And yeah. I wasn't entirely excited about it, but I was like, I'll use it as a stepping stone to get into something that I'm passionate about. Mm -hmm. Little did I know, I end up crossing paths with Noah, our CEO, and he talked to me about some of the stuff he had going on here. And uh, with APM Lodge. And at the time, it was more or less an idea. I think we had bought the property in Edwards. But outside of that, there wasn't much to it. But I have a background in uh, treatment just through my family. Uh, I've had a father that went to treatment. I've had loved ones that go to treatment. And so it's something that I've been passionate about and have sort of been surrounded by my entire life. And so I was like, you know what, this sounds cool. Maybe somewhere down the line, I'll do what he's doing. Like, right. that sounds so cool. And he hit me up probably a month later. He was a one-man show at the time. It was like, I have so much work. This is a lot. Would you mind just going over some presentations for me? Uh, and he was actually presenting in Chicago about APM Lodge and the, and the work he was going to be doing there. Okay. And so I went to this presentation and saw how passionate he was for what we're doing now. And I just thought it was like the most incredible thing. Like I, I 
that was like the person that I wanted to work for, right? Like that was my goal always was like, I want to work with someone who's really passionate about what they do. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is perfect. And so I left that thing and I was like, I have to find a way because like I was doing side work for him, but it wasn't exactly turning into this full-time thing yet. Mm -hmm. I was like, I have to find a way to get into this company. And I left that conference and he called me on my way back to Indiana University and was like, hey, you did great at that conference. Keep in mind, I like did not do that much. He's like, you did great. Do you want to join the team full time? Like, I just need help. And like, I know you're looking for a job after graduation. And I was like, yeah, like, it was like a, a dream come true. And so that was... I don't know, a year and a half, no, two years ago, probably at this point. And it's been a crazy ride where this thing has gone from an idea that we would talk about on the phone to now this amazing campus with this amazing team and clients that we're helping and seeing clients who come in that maybe not their best and they leave in such a better place. It's really been such a rewarding job so far. We still have a ton of work to do and every yeah. day is exciting. And so I like what I do. That's crazy. I mean, I don't think I knew that part of the story that it was like that at that conference, there was kind of a, it sounds like there was a click in both of your minds that you guys were the right fit. Um, it, it was a really cool thing. Like a dozen people spoke at this conference. Huh. He, he was one of a, of a dozen. And let's say there were a hundred people at this conference and he got done speaking and lunch was right after that. And we were the only table where there were like two dozen people waiting to speak to him because like you could just feel his passion for what we're doing and his passion uh, for helping people. And it was like this infectious thing that everybody in the room wanted to be a part of. Yeah. And so I was, I was blindly sold like off of like one presentation I, I was in. That, I mean, I get that. Like, I remember coming in for what I thought was going to be an interview with Noah, and it ended yeah. up really being like a he he cast the vision for this place and kind of watched me to see if I was catching on and like if I was if I was down to like be a part of the of the journey. And like, I mean, my job's to tell the story of it through words, right? So like. He, and that I remember sitting at the table with him outside of our office and he just like describing all of what he wants to do and how, right. how he wants treatment to be like this long-term connection and solution for people and for like their, you know, hearts and lives to be revived more than them to just find sobriety. And I was like, Oh, I yeah. get it. So, yeah, exactly. And so I think we've done a really good job of hiring people that are not only qualified but I think that's exactly right, where it's like you sort of have to think outside the box of what you traditionally consider treatment and be on board to do something that's a little bit different mm -hmm. in a good way, in my opinion, mm -hmm. like in a great way. And so there's definitely people that have been qualified, but we haven't felt that they've bought into the vision entirely. Mm -hmm. And those are people that don't work for us. Like, I think we've done a great job of finding that that crossover. Yeah, and we have like this amazing team for the most part. I think everybody's on the same page and like we're really providing clients with this amazing experience right now from what I've heard. Yeah, and it's cool to watch because like you're saying, it's, I mean, we're, we've done so much already since like we've opened, but also we're still, I mean, it still feels like the beginning stages of just hearing the stories of clients come in and like the reviews will pop up and I'll read a review and it's like this, just changed my life in a way that right. I didn't know treatment could. And I was like, yes, okay. Right, exactly. And that's it. what makes it like so rewarding for me. I won't speak for you, but I'm sure it's yeah. the same. Yeah. Where it's like, you and I aren't client facing, mm -mm. but it's like, we sort of plant the seeds. So like that clinical team can like do their most amazing work. And so it's, it's so rewarding seeing what we do in the office like how that translates into the client experience and hearing these stories where I've talked with clients and, you know, a five day workshop has changed their life. Or I talk mm -hmm. to a client's parents and they're like, we, we've been to other treatment centers and we've never come across anything like this and the growth um, that our son has had. Like, it's the most incredible thing to hear. Yeah. And 
it, all the credit probably goes to the clinical team. Oh, for sure. But there's a little piece of me that feels like I'm involved in that, you know? And right. it, it makes me proud to be here. Yeah, totally. And it's like the behind the scenes kind of satisfaction, you know? And I also feel proud of the clinical team. Like, like, yeah. like almost like a proud parent. I'm like, they're doing it. They're helping people. And yeah, because you just get to cheer them on kind of from the sidelines and invite people in. Right. I mean, it's like, especially weird for me, I think just because two years ago, again, this was an idea. Yeah. To where all of a sudden we're helping people and like, seeing their growth, which obviously is, you know, what we're in the business to do. But I remember when we had our first client uh, successfully leave treatment, it was like, whoa, like, this is like this, like, crazy, again, it should be an expectation, but just like this whole journey yeah it was so crazy it's so cool to see something like that yeah it's the this is my first startup that i've worked in and it's sweet to i mean i imagine this has like the you know the fast-paced feel of a normal startup but there's also like that like wow we're already doing something impactful and and there's still so much on the horizon too right so speaking of things on the horizon, what are you working on right now? Or like, what are you excited about that's happening? Okay, so like, for me, every day is different. So I work with Noah, our CEO, really closely. Yeah, what the heck is your title? I'm an associate of business strategy. And like, that could mean nothing, it could mean everything, right? Yeah. So every day, I'm, I'm doing something different. Some days I'm more finance focused and uh, making sure we allocate the resources appropriately to make sure that our clients are having the best experience that they couldn't possibly have. Or some days, like today, I'm working on uh, our APN Connection app that we're launching within the next few weeks that will go along with our telehealth programming. And I'm working with Intelity, which uh, will put iPads in all of our clients' rooms. So they can book a spa appointment or they can chat with their therapist or they can order room service, just things to improve the client experience. And like the app is even going to improve the family's experience, which mm -hmm. is important to me because I've been that family member before. Sure. Um, in, in my dad's experience, we didn't feel like we had that support that much. You know, there was a once a week update, but we weren't necessarily getting the help we needed and so it's cool to see this app where families will be able to go in there and, and chat with the clinical team or chat with other families who are going through the same thing. And uh, clients, when they leave APN, will be able to hop on the app and, and stay connected with us even while they're not on the campus. It's just like all these great things we're doing that, again, are like thinking outside the box of where normal treatment programs stop, I think. We're, we're really trying to hit everything. Uh, to make sure that our clients and families and uh, stakeholders make sure that they have the best experience with us. Yeah, I love that. And I think that the, I mean, the iPad thing is cool just for like convenience sake. And, and I mean, it's the whole idea of making, taking like everything that the client needs and like taking care of it so they don't have to worry about it so they can focus right. on it therapy right right so like they're not running around our campus like looking for a nurse or looking for a therapist yeah. it's like just press a button and yeah. they're there like i think it's yeah. so cool and the family program blows my mind like i like you said i i mean before i came i thought of therapy as like talk therapy and that's it and one person's involved or like a couple can go to therapy together but to mm -hmm. see like to see the emphasis that like the clinicians are putting in with the individual that's coming in for treatment. And then they assign the, an, another therapist to the family to do like a family therapy call once a week. In addition right. to those update calls to really work on the family stuff. It makes complete sense to try to put the client who is recovering back into the healthiest family situation possible. For sure. Um, it's like the client has already started their treatment plan when, when they come to us and the family needs one as well. Um, I remember when my dad went to treatment, it first off, it's like a really scary thing. But once he's there, you're sort of like, now what? Like, now what do what do I do? Like, 
am I supposed to find my own therapist? Like that's how most other programs work. And so I love that we've emphasized families and helping them through their own treatment plan. So exactly what you said. So when that person comes home back to their normal home environment that you've also worked on yourself to be able to like accept them and grow together. Yeah. So like, I love what we're doing here. Support without codependency or enabling and all yeah. the, you know, all these healthy functions that are hard for, for families to do. And it's hard to know how to support someone who's struggling. So it's sweet. Yeah. Well, this has been awesome. I mean, I'm grateful that you took the time to talk, even <laughs> though I know it's not your favorite thing to do. Um, and I look forward to this video blowing up in the same way that apparently all your videos do. <laughs> thanks, Anna. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us on Team Tuesday. And we will catch you next week. Thanks, Jeremy. See you guys Bye. later.